G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at the Ava Media Live Gamer Duo on this episode of Will It Work with vMix? So let's spin that wheel! Let's get to it. Does vMix support the Ava Media Live Gamer Duo? Yes! The Ava Media Live Gamer Duo is a PCI Express capture card that allows you to connect two HDMI video sources to use in your productions with vMix. Now it also has a loop through that can be used for the first HDMI input on the card. So you could send out that directly from the card and use it in a monitor, a recorder, like I have this one here with the Atomos, or even another production and feed that into another capture card. Now it's not a will it work with vMix without actually using the product. That's right. So we've gone ahead and actually removed our regular capture card from the PC here and chucked in the Ava Media Live Gamer Duo. Now you can actually see it pulsating up there. So that's the Ava Media card right there. So it's always important to have RGBs on your capture devices. It gives better performance, I'm sure. I wanted to add my regular camera, which is the Ursa Mini Gen 2 for this tutorial, but it's SDI output only. So what I've done is I've converted that with a uh, decimator converter and then plugged that in via HDMI into the Ava Media card. For the second input, I have my Panasonic GH5 camera, which I'm going to add in a second. Now I've set both of these cameras to output 1080, 5994p for that smooth video experience. And this card handles that really well. Now it's not a 4K capture card. You can pass through 4K if that's what your camera is, but you can't capture at 4K. It's 1080, 60 max. So it's really easy to set up. Once you've got the card, you just go to the Ava Media website, download their Assist Central tool, uh, and then you can choose to install the drivers. Now there are a couple of other software options there like their recording software, but you just need the drivers. Just click on the drivers and install those. As you can see in my production here, I have my Ursa coming through uh, the input here for my um, Ava Media. So now I need to add a second device. I'm gonna go to add input and then I'm gonna go, go to camera. Then from the drop down menu, you'll see the Live Gamer Duo 1 and Live Gamer Duo 2. So just check which HDMI port you've plugged each camera into. Now I've actually plugged this camera that's sitting up here, the GH5 into port number one. And so I'm using that as the loop through for this uh, Atomos right here. So I'm going to select Live Gamer Duo 1 and I've got the Ursa Mini coming into the second HDMI port on the card. So what I'm gonna do is I don't want the audio device. I'm gonna select none there. And then that's it, 1080, 5994p. Click OK. So now I have my camera coming into the production, as you can see here. I've now got my second camera input that you can see the card with, and even graphics card and all that kind of stuff, and my cool unicorn over to the side here. So I can start using it in my production, you know, add it as an overlay, and now I can talk about the camera in the production. So we all know that having more than just one camera in a production makes it a lot more dynamic and more interesting. So you could use that second input on the capture device, maybe for a second camera angle of the person speaking or another person or a group shot or something. Maybe you wanna use it for a product shot like this. So I'm displaying a particular product. You might have an overhead camera that you're using, just a second camera to kind of spice up your production. Now you might also use it for a way to capture a screen for a desktop production, or maybe even the gaming output from a PC or a console. A card like this offers a lot of flexibility for your production. So having two inputs allows you to have a camera and maybe a desktop capture or two cameras, or you can kind of mix it up. It kind of just doesn't bog you down to like a single input for your production. Now it's also between sort of the industry standards of a single input card or a four input card. So maybe you don't quite need four inputs and you don't want to spend the money on four, but you'd like to have more than one. So this one has two. So it's going to be cheaper than the four input card. And because Ava Media is sort of in a competitive market with their products, they're quite often on sale as well. So if you wait a few months after they come out, they can be a little bit cheaper on sales and that sort of thing. Uh, and they're sort of priced more affordably towards more of a gaming or consumer market. So if you are looking for affordable PCI Express cards, with more than one input, then this is a good one to add to your list to consider. Now there aren't too many two input devices around, especially uh, at this price point. And as I mentioned before, as they're kind of aimed towards a gaming uh, and consumer streamer, they're usually a little bit more affordable than sort of high-end ones. Uh, and you can purchase them at a lot more places. So you can purchase them at retailers 
as well as places like Amazon. So if you're in desperate need of a capture card, you don't have to wait six weeks for a reseller or a distributor to get one. You can just go on Amazon and have one the next day or the day after or something like that. So that's a quick roundup of the Ava Media Live Gamer Duo for use with vMix. Really straightforward, easy way to add two cameras up to 108060 in your production, affordable and easily available. It does require uh, four PCI Express lanes uh, on your motherboard, so keep that in mind as well. But as you can see, it's been working perfectly fine. It's a good way to um, add you know, good quality, uncompressed video into your production. So thanks for joining us today on this episode of Will It Work with vMix or Weave. Now we test a lot of different hardware with vMix just to make sure that everybody gets a good experience. And we only include this kind of equipment on our huge list if it passes all of the tests that we put it through. So if you wanna see what capture devices, cameras and controllers work best with vMix, just head to vmix.com and go to the supported hardware page. You'll see a list of all of the different stuff that we have on there. So if you do have any questions about vMix or capture devices and that sort of thing, send us through an email via vmix.com as it's a whole lot easier answering technical questions via email as opposed to YouTube comments. So we do get a lot of emails from people with the subject line, but does my capture card work with vMix? Unfortunately, if it's not on the supported hardware list, then we can't guarantee that it's gonna work with vMix. A lot of the knockoff capture devices will overheat, uh, drop a lot of frames and not have the right drivers. So 60% of the time they'll work every time. But unfortunately, if we haven't tested them, we can't guarantee that they will work or we may have already tested them and they just flat out didn't work properly. So it's always best to stick to that supported hardware list that we have on our website. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.